Okay, I talked about different parts of File Explorer. It is time to work with commands in Riven. And the first tile, uh, the, the, the first tab is the Home tab. As you can see, we have Add to Favorites, Paste, and Copy, and Copy Paths, and th things like this. What I'm going to do is to work with Favorites, first of all. Uh, assuming that I have a folder that I want to add it to my favorite. Uh, for example, I have a docs folder. Under docs folder, I want to create a new folder. You can see in home tab, I have new folder command. I can click on that and there is my new folder. While I can edit the name of this new folder, I want to rename it to my edition, ed edited videos. Okay. Now, this is the folder that I like to have it on my favorites. Uh, why I would like to, you know, go for favorites? I can just click on this favorite and go to exactly to the destination that I want. For example, if I want to reach to this folder, I need to open a file explorer like this. I need to go to drive C. I need to go to docs folder and then I can find my edited videos folder. And this is too long for some of the folders that you create. You may create it nested multiple times under one folder, and this is going to be a little hard for you. So what should I do with this? I can add this to my favorite. Just go on this folder and make sure that this is selected. And you can select it by just clicking on this little checkbox, or you can just go for selection using a window selection by dragging um, you know by creating a window like this and by selecting this you have add to favorites from here and it tells you that, that it is going to add the selected folder to your favorite list you can go inside this folder and when you are inside this folder you do not need to even select a folder you can just you know go and select add to favorites as you can see, my edited video is here. Okay, now I want to remove this from my favorites list. I don't need to have my edited videos under this. I can right click on that and go and select remove from favorite folder. Uh, now, what can I do if I want to change the destination of a favorite? As you can see, I have videos, downloads, and desktop under favorite. I can right click on one of these. For example, I want to change the destination of videos favorites folder. Right click on that, go to properties, and now that you have gone to properties, you can select to change this target. Now you can see that I want to go to my edited videos. I want to, you know, uh, favorite this under videos name. I can just right click here. If I right click here, I, I do not see anything like copy as path. Actually, copy as path is here. But if I want to copy as path this folder, let me go up a little one. Uh, I right click this using, you know, by pressing shift and right clicking on that, I have something that is called copy as path that's here. So press shift button on your keyboard and then right click on your folder. And this is copy as path. And by selecting this, you can go here and paste it in target. Now you can see that it goes to C, docs, my edited video. Click on apply. Click on OK. That's it. Now if I close this and open a new window, if I go and click on videos, it will take me to my edited videos folder. Now, this is a nice feature, but actually I'm not a big fan of favorites, you know. I prefer not to see favorites. If you would like to, you know, remove this from your navigation pane, you can just go to View tab, go to Options here, and remove the check from Show Favorites here. Click on Apply, and Favorite is going to go. But, but my favorite thing is libraries. I like libraries so much. You know, you can see most of the places that you have favorited, you can reach to them using libraries. And a library can, you know, can, can, uh, it can point to different destinations at the same time. 
Assuming that I have a videos library here, if I click on videos, you can see that it, ta it takes me to videos folder under libraries. But how can I tell where this video folder is located on my computer? Let me see. If I open this little triangle, I can see a videos folder. By clicking on that, it takes me to this folder. If I open that, no, nothing, there is nothing here. How can I tell? where this video folder is located right click on this library by right clicking on this library you can go to properties by going to properties now you have different folders that are added to this library for example videos you can see that it is let me see if I can have this uh, you know uh, edit it. No, you cannot edit it. Uh, if you want to add another destination for this, you can just go and select Add from here. Now, I want to go to Drive C, go and click on Docs folder, select my edited videos, and now I click on Include folder. As you can see, now I have added another folder to this library. Now click on OK. As you can see, if I click on videos, I have two different destinations. One of them is C user John videos folder, and it is empty right now. The other one is my edited videos under C docs, so I can have multiple destinations under each library. Let me remove this destination. I don't want to have this under videos. If I right click on videos, and go to properties I can select this and go and click on remove now it is going to be removed click on OK and that's it now what if I want to create a new library from scratch I want to create a new library uh, I don't want to add any folder to these libraries actually I want to change them I can go and right click on libraries go to new and select a library. This way I can create a new library. You can see that the library's name is editable right now. I want to change it to my edited items and hit enter. Now you can see that under my edited items there is no folder. I can right click on that, go to properties and click on add. Now this way I can add different folders that I want to this uh, to this library. Another way is to cancel this out. I want to cancel this out and again I want to delete this. Right click on this and go for delete. Another way is to go for the folder that you want to add it as a library. For example under Drive C, under Docs, I have my edited videos. I can right click on this go to include in library now I can create a new library right from this folder by this you can see that the library is added here in the name of my folder and my folder is under this library now I can rename this I can rename this by right clicking on that and going for renaming and I want to change it to my edited items as you can see by hitting enter its name is going to change and actually this folder is added under this library so working with libraries is so fun I like working with them and if you do not see this you can just go for view tab go to options and make sure that show libraries have a check beside that this is the way I work with libraries now in next section I want to talk about copying pasting and uh, you know there are different ways to work with these commands and you can see this is under a clipboard panel and it you know it, it lends itself to have a lot of practice for you because this is the 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 most common uh, commands that you run on your machine 